closing in on double digits in vlogs. We are at number nine and back in the biggest little city for this one after the Los Angeles massacre of 2018. I just kind of came up with that title for the last vlog, uh, obviously due to the fact that uh, things did not go too well for me in Southern California, to say the least, though the games were great. That's the one thing. The games were amazing. I just got hammered in them. And uh, that can happen, obviously, if you are a cash game grinder. And I got to experience that firsthand in that trip to L.A. It was good to have Lyman on. My boy Abe Lyman. Loved talking to him. And I loved all the reaction that I was able to get uh, for him being on. You get a couple of negative comments always mixed in with him. People don't, not liking him. But for the most part, uh, the majority of those of you chiming in really enjoyed having Abe on. So I will definitely get him back on. There were a lot of things that I wanted to ask that I didn't get a chance to. Um, the camera setup was not ideal uh, in that interview. I had actually ordered a new camera, which I now have, uh, the new one from Sony, which I'll show you coming up here a little bit later on in this vlog, but uh, didn't have it for the trip to LA. I went to Best Buy to, to buy it. I had made the decision I'm buying the camera. And I go to Best Buy and there it is. And sure enough, they tell me, oh, we don't have it in stock. We have to order it wouldn't you just have it there so if people come in looking to give you a thousand bucks for a camera that you can give it to them uh, it just really frustrated me that uh, that was the case but uh, I do end up having it now and uh, we'll have a back on no doubt in the future and by the way before I get into this vlog can I just say how about those golden knights in their expansion season they're on their way to the western conference final I have been on that bandwagon since before the team even had a name or a completed stadium, so I'm very excited about it. See how far they can take things. But as far as the poker is concerned, there's a game that's set to take place over at the Atlantis Casino. Now, I haven't played any cash over there since starting this vlog, so I'm going to have a chance to do that, and then uh, we'll undoubtedly get back to the normal game at the pepper mill a lot of work to do to dig out of the hole from being hammered in los angeles let's get to it now First hand from this 5-10 game here at the Atlantis, a midweek 5-10 game, which is pretty rare. We get one limp under the gun, another limper, and I'm in the cutoff with ace three of hearts. Both the blinds complete, so we have $50 in the pot, five ways, and the flop comes ace five three rainbow with one heart. Player in the big blind who plays extraordinarily tight, leads out. He bets 25, and I opt for a raise to 55. Everyone else folds, he calls, and the turn comes the jack of diamonds. He checks, certainly a spot where I want to continue to bet. I make it 80, and he doesn't think too long with it and calls. The river comes an offsuit nine. And he checks, and at this point, he's not the kind of player that's gonna to want to pay off a big bet here with just one pair. And now he could certainly have two pair a lot of the time, and if he did, he's not the kind of guy that would raise. So I'm looking to bet small to extract some value from his one pair of hands. I bet 50. He actually thinks about it for a second and finally pays off. So we take that one down. Good start early on. This next hand to pick it up on the flop with the video. It started pre-flop when it was blind versus blind. Small blind completes and I'm in the big blind pocket sevens. I make it 30 more. Small blind calls. Flop comes quite favorable to quote Andrew Nimi, 973 rainbow. I'm expecting the small blind to check quite a bit, but he doesn't. He leads out for 30. I go ahead and make it 80, and he doesn't think too long and calls. Turn comes the ace of spades. This is not a great card for me in terms of getting action here. He checks. I decide to bet 80 again, hoping to keep him in there with all of his nines. He does indeed make the call. River comes a jack. He checks. I bet 135. He thinks about it for a few minutes. I'm certainly hoping he has ace nine, but pretty much discounted that when he didn't raise the turn. He ultimately ends up calling, 
and needless to say, I am good. So a really hot start in this game at the Atlantis. Next hand, we get an under the gun open to 40, and I'm in the big blind with pocket sixes. Everyone else folds. I make the call. So with 80 in the flop, we go to a flop of all deuces. The razor goes ahead and bets 50. Definitely not a fold I'm going to make, so I go ahead and just call. I could argue for a raise here to protect against the equity he has with overcards, but I don't. I just call. Turn comes a four. I check, and he goes ahead and checks it back. River comes a jack. I debated whether or not to value bet here. Hard to put him on too many hands that are going to pay me off, but he's a player who really hates losing to me. So with that in mind, I'm thinking he might pay me off with ace high here. I make a very small bet on the river. I bet just $45, hoping for that call on the ace high. He thought about, about it for a minute and called. I assume that I'm probably good when he does not raise here and, and has to think about it, but he shows jack 10 for a rivered pair of jacks. So he takes that one down. Yes, leaving the gym right now. A little pickup basketball action, as you saw there. Hadn't gotten a chance to play in a while. Seems like usually I'm just shooting by myself, which I do enjoy. Uh, I played a little two on two there. The girl named Lacey, she actually played some college ball. So that was good. It's not a fair fight, I will acknowledge. Um, but it was good cardio for sure. I love playing two on two and three on three. Probably my favorite forms of basketball. You don't have to run the whole court, but you get to shoot a lot more. Oliver here. Interesting scene. We have a new addition to the vlog. The Sony RX100 Mark IV. 